Hello. I want to show you this vehicle and I want you to look at it. It's real nice. Uh, I'm going to tell you the story behind this vehicle. I was part of the Equifax breach and I needed a car to get around. So I went on eBay Motors and I purchased this car. I did. Uh, I ended up uh, I met the, I saw this car the listing said that um, it wanted they wanted 2500 for this car because they said that um, they didn't want to pay the insurance on the vehicle so I contacted the seller asked the seller you know was everything okay was it up and up during this time I couldn't get a um, I couldn't get a uh, mechanic to come look at the car because of pandemic so to i didn't offer him 2500 i offered him 19. and i ended up going and i uh ended up looking to contact an escrow which was recommended by ebay and i asked them uh could they you know protect my money of course they say yes i mean the interior looks real nice uh they said yes. They told me that they can protect me. eBay said that they can protect me. So with that being said, I paid $700 to have the car shipped from Virginia to Tennessee. When I got the car and cut it on, it automatically started pinging. And it pinged and it pinged and it pinged. So I, that morning I called the seller, I te text the seller and I told the seller that the car was pinging. He says, oh, well, he says, um, oh, well, it was like that when I got it, but you didn't disclose that. So I contacted, I contacted escrow and I contacted eBay and I told him what was going on. I found out that the motor was going out of the car. That's what I found out. The motor's going out of the car. So to give me a motor was going to uh, cost me anywhere from uh, 1100 to 2000 So, and to ship it back would have cost me $800. So, I told them that the body of the car was worth 800 Because, you know, it is. It's a 2005. eBay told me I was under the, the protection, uh, the vehicle protection plan. Escrow told me to reject the offer and they would mediate. Well, neither one of them did. It. eBay said that they denied the claim. Escrow told me that it was my responsibility to return the vehicle. Now, here's the catch part about it. The guy, even if I had returned the vehicle, because everybody said, well, why didn't you just return the vehicle? I found out that the address that the gentleman used to list on escrow was fraudulent so i was gonna be stuck with the vehicle anyway so that was in april of this year here it is august going into september and the car is the motor's going out and i've been sitting here waiting i don't know trying to get the car fixed i can't i mean it's 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 just a mess and i'm i'm sending this email because i want you don't share this video if you can but more importantly don't use escrow.com don't use them i've had to file a legal lawsuit against them but i want i don't want people to get be a victim of this do not use that company they're located in california i found out they're not even licensed in tennessee but i want you to see i mean it's not a bad car i've been to keep myself from getting depressed i, I put in some car seats and and I did a little work on it and stuff. And I want you to see it. But I, I also want you, see, I don't have no tags. You know, it's, it's not safe to drive. And so, I, but I just want you guys, I'm showing you this car because I want you, when you, when you try, people right now, people are trying to get a, 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 a car. You know, I was using this car because the way he said it, it was in great condition. I was just gonna use the car to get back and forth to work, uh, you know, 
you know, go visit my daughter because he told me it was it was okay and I didn't have a mechanic, you know, during a, a pandemic. So I got scammed. I got scammed. So don't use escrow.com. Do not use them. Don't use them at all because this is what's going to happen. And, and uh, the manager, when I was showing the police reports, showing the, 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 the repairs, how much it was going to cost, showing how much it was going to cost to ship the car back, escrow told the seller, the scammer, don't argue with her. In 10 days, you'll get the money. Even when they went down on it, the, he went down on the price, they still gave him the whole price. So that's what I wanted to let you know. This is what I want you to see. This is my scammer special. This is what escrow and eBay does to people. They do not protect you when you are uh, uh, trying to do a trustworthy sale. So, they, I mean, it looks nice, and hopefully I'll get it fixed, and I'll, you know, I'll, I'll come back. But I'm, I'm, I'm not now. I'm out of a lot of money. And then I got to put a lot of money in it to get it fixed. So that's, that's my story for today.